It's hot out. Super hot out. Awesome day to be doing this. <laughs> I'm already sweating. We didn't even do anything. We just got out of the truck. Yeah. Um, we're doing some stuff at the land today. Yeah, some last minute prep. We're gonna bait the bear today too. Uh, check that camera out. See what we got on there. But other than that, it's just gonna be a a, a day at the a day at the land with a a little bit of vlog. So, anyways, we're at the first the first camera, right? Yep. 291 pictures. Yeah, about a week and a half, two weeks. So nice. It's not bad. So last time we were here, you guys saw me up in this stand here. Um, this camera was this camera here. Did we set this camera last nope. time? It was here. It yep. was here. All we did was take the all the, take the card out, switch yeah. it out. And we've got there's been a bachelor group of like four or five bucks. Um, none of them are real big. The biggest is probably three years old. He's probably 15 inches wide, eight pointer. Um, but they've been hanging out here like routinely, along with a doe and a fawn. You guys can see the corn's doing pretty good too. Last time we were out here. Uh, it definitely wasn't this tall on this part of it. Um, it was tall on the other side, and it already had some corn growing on it. Now this side's starting to come up, starting to follow suit, and it uh, looks like we got a lot, a lot of corn coming up here, and uh, some some cobs are forming on these too. You know what? Last time we were out here, we talked about putting that camera there to try to figure out where these deer were coming from, and I actually told you how I thought they avoided this area. Well, fact is, they're actually coming from that area. Um, see, I was right. That's right. what I originally thought. I'm that like, they got to be bedding back here. It's yep. so way so too thick. Now you're starting to see that the trail is starting to form right here. Okay. So they're working their way some, maybe not this way, but they're working their way some way through here and they're coming out right here because a lot of the pictures I got is the backside of the deer as they yep. walked out this way. Sure. So yep. big, big tool knowing where they're coming from. Um, well, you said there's a swamp back there too, right? Yeah, it kind of kind of rotates around and the swamp's probably about 300 yards that way. So it's a, still a ways. Yeah. And there's a big clear cut right here. So. I'm so excited. Oh, man. So pumped. We got some big bucks on camera, dude. Yeah, like, we, do. we got some Pope and Young archery bucks on camera, so that definitely pumps you up for the season. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we got our first chip. Now we're going to go hang a stand. Oh, I'm all done. Need for this job. This is the easy do it yourselfer system. You basically take this put it up and around the tree, and then you tether it to this side, and then your hands free, you can do whatever you want. Is that on? Can you hear it? Can I hear what? All right, we're good. Yep. good. <laughs> Just walked in. Um, you can see we got sticks up already, and we have the stand laying right over here. So basically what we have is, there's a really big clear cut over here. If you can see it opening in the woods up behind me, and it's so mangled and so gnarly that the deer won't use it, right? So I know they avoid it. I've watched them walk completely around it to get to where they want to go from a stand. So what we have right here is basically the only funnel on our property that exists, the only true funnel. And so we have pines over there. They don't like being in the open pines because they're too tall, they're not thick enough anymore, and they don't like to clear cut. So this really dense area creates a funnel that goes right to our food plot. So hardwoods, funnel, food, uh, it's, it's a classic morning rut cruising type spot. I've killed two bucks on my wall in this spot here, um, and I've seen a lot of big bucks here. So probably dozens over the last five years. So definitely the spot that we wanted to get a good, solid, nice stand to sit in for those long days during the rut. My job is to climb up the tree with this rope. Cody is gonna hook the, uh, the clip to the stand and I'll be able to pull it up and pass this rope back down to you so that you can hold it where there's no weight on the stand and I can maneuver it how I need to. That's basically it. How you doing? Hands free. That's pretty nice. It is very nice for hanging stands, man. It's What'd you forget? The ratchet straps are supposed to be in this pocket. No kidding. But they're not. Where they're are on, they? They're on the ground. Right here. It's not a good place for them. No. So now you're up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, got that one. Oh, it's close. I'm gonna try not to. What the hell is that? A tree just fell down? I don't think that was a tree fall. Oh. There it is. Okay, we got one on. That's the hardest part of the battle. Hardest part of the battle is done. Getting the getting, first getting one that on. sucker just locked in with one strap. Uh, obviously, being safe is the most important thing, but the challenge you present to yourself then is having a lot of straps in the way. So I have more than one time ratchet strapped myself to the tree. <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, Jason's doing now is he uh, is going to test the stand. He got both the straps on it. Um, he just put his harness back on above the sand 
uh, just to make sure that uh, when he steps on the stand, it doesn't uh, so like give way. I put my weight on it, I can see that it's a little loose. Yep. So I can probably stand to tighten it just a little bit more. Yep. All right, you got her. Yep. Got there it. she goes. You know, he's got a couple. He's got to cut a couple branches off here to uh, make a shooting lane. Hey, that works. <laughs> that was that was freaking that could awesome. Not have been any cleaner, dude. It took everything out. <laughs> Personally, in the past, I haven't hunted out of a ton of uh, hang-on stands like this, where you put sticks up, crawl up, and then actually hang the stand. Um, a lot of the hunting I've did has been out of a uh, tree climber or ladder stands. So I don't typically hunt out of hang-on stands like this. It's gonna be new for me this year. Um, I have a couple times, so it's not like it's brand new, but um, it'll just be a little different. A little different change of scenery for me this year, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, they're totally safe. You just got to do it the right way. And, and if it, you do everything up to par, um, these stands can be completely safe just like any other. So Jason did a great job of showing you guys how to do it safely. And uh, now we're set to go. That, yeah. that, that stand's all hung. Want to do me a big favor? Want to go in the backpack in the truck and grab me a bow hanger? And that's what we needed. I bestow with the bow hangereth. Grassy ass. To the Jason. <laughs> to hangeth. <laughs> and the treeeth. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see how this is all right around the base of the tree? We want that because no deer is ever going to walk under you. They're always going to skirt you. Right. A lot of times, you know, if they get that close, they'll wind your trail coming in. Now the way it is, by the time they wind you, it's game over already. Yeah, so the apple trees are a little taller than when I saw them last. Oh man. Ooh, Stupid chocolate? marshmallow. Oh. Old marshmallow from the bucket. Well, that's disheartening. Well, I think what I'm gonna have to do is come out here with some liquid smoke and kind of do it as a, a fresh new started bait. Get some liquid smoke, spray it all around the area. Hopefully there's some bears in the area, new bears even maybe. And just try to give it a jump start. I'm gonna take a look at the bait though and just see. Don't sing me, you little assholes. I'm not hurting you. Go ahead. Don't sing me. <laughs> there's bees everywhere. Oh, there's a lot of them. It's funny how they won't do anything to you as long as you're not messing with them. You know, you can stand here and as long as you're not like swatting at them or going crazy, they won't do much. Probably Friday. And do a liquid smoke bomb and see if we can get some new bears in. That's a bummer, man. The bait, but you know what? The, there's two theories to, to baiting bears: is starting early and getting the bears all in your bait, and kind of continuing to keep them there. And then the other theory is to bait late. I know a lot of guys that are starting right now, and the reason they're doing that is because they're going to pull people's bears off their bait by starting late with something different. So the horse a piece, but we'll give it a jump start and hope for the best. Bear mission was not a go. Well, what you guys just saw there uh, with the chainsaw and us cutting, um, we went back to a stand that Jason actually set in February. Um, and back when he was in there in February, it wasn't as thick, obviously. Everything wasn't overgrown. It was a little more open. Um, we got back there today. There was a lot more deadfall and uh, a lot more overgrown stuff that we had to take out with the chainsaw just to create uh, a lane, basically, for those deer to travel through there. Um, otherwise, it was pretty... It was pretty packed tight in there. Yeah, that was going to be a tough one for yep. sure. So Jason went up in the stand, as you guys saw, and uh, kind of just looked around, looked for a decent shooting lane. And once we found that, we kind of picked a, a pretty decent path back to um, all the, you know, the tall timber and the hardwoods that was on the other side and was all open and basically just cleared an entire path all the way back to that. Uh, so that deer have a, a way to get back and forth um, yep. through that area. So. so basically, guys, if you go back in the videos from earlier this year, right around the February, March time frame, um, there's one that's cover photo with winter bucks. 
And basically what we did is we went back in here like two feet of snow. And so if you want to go and see the hanging of that stand that we just went and worked on, you can see that whole process and kind of what we had to do to get back there. So it was a pretty cool experience. I've never hung a stand in dead of winter like that. So that was tiring, interesting, and cold. Guys, that's going to wrap up the vlog for today. We were going to go mess with another stand, but uh, it's pretty hot out here. <laughs> it's 90 degrees. We're, we're both, done. yeah, we're sweating. So we're going to wrap this video up. Um, I'm going out fishing with Jason tomorrow. We're going to be pre-fishing for a bass tournament that he has going on this weekend. So, and then I will also be pre-fishing for a tournament that I have this weekend on Friday for walleye. So you guys will probably see two, two fishing videos following this one, but we just wanted to sneak this vlog in there um, to show you guys that we haven't given up on this land or we haven't not thought about this land. We're still back here um, trying to make it better um, and get it ready for, for opening season. So Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give us a like and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.